The Hindu community in Canada, USA, and globally are quite disturbed over a conference entitled Dismantling Global Hindutva. This conference is being generated from the States. The Hindu community finds this conference quite disturbing. The conference organizers are anonymous, however, close to 40 universities appear to endorse the conference. The Hindu community thinks that such a conference may lead to Hindu phobia. Similar concerns are shared by Dr. Adita Jha, who is an accomplished entrepreneur and philanthropist. Dr. Jha has been decorated with Canada's highest civilian honor as member of the Order of Canada, along with numerous other awards. He has established 14 endowments at three Canadian universities and two colleges. Welcome, Dr. Jha, and thank you for joining us today. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. What was your initial reaction to hearing about the Dismantling Global Hindutva Conference? Of outrage and out of uh, disappointment um, that uh, how this uh, very conniving group of academicians and some of the people in the behind can fool so many universities mm -hmm. into making it sound like that this is just a academic uh, discussion and debate uh, and it is not a something of hate, hate against Hindus. What does Hindutva mean to you? To me, it means a very good thing. Hindutva means being, it's about Hinduness, being a Hindu. And Hindu, what the way uh, they are trying to uh, portray is more like some kind of hegemony or a extreme nationalism. Mm -hmm. For us, it's a religion, it's a way of life, it's our ethos. This uh, religion, Hindu religion, the Sanatan Dharma, has continued for tens of thousand years, tens of thousand years, and um, uh, you have Hindu religion out of that, and uh, you have. Uh, uh, Buddhism, Jainism, Sikhism, and uh, this is a kind of uh, confusion with a lot of people. This is not a traditional religion in sense. Mm -hmm. There is a typical definition of religion, religion would be that there is a one book, one God, uh, everything one. For Hindus, it, it, we believe truly in not uh, unity and diversity. We believe in diversity and unity. It's one Sanatan Dharma and there is a lot of um, uh, diversity uh, in that and all them together. If ever you ever you went to an Indian restaurant and if ever you have had a thali, this is a mm -hmm. round thing mm -hmm. when which you see the rice at one place and all the different vegetables in a small bowls. Yes. So this is how the Hinduism is like that. The, the Hindu culture, Hindu religion is that you have so many different things in that plate, but they are not complete meal unless you eat they, all of them together. And this basically there is a, I can see why they are very fearful. And they, uh, and some people are trying to destabilize a stabilizing political movement. They have things against BJP. Go ahead and fight them, mm -hmm. but don't go after Hindus. In a letter on the conference's official website, Hindutva is described as an authoritarian political ideology that historically drew inspiration from Nazi Germany and Mussolini's Italy. What are your thoughts on that? And normally I would like to be very calm. If anybody who uh, partner with Mussolini and Hitler was the communist of the world. They fought alongside them in World War II. But I, people like us have said, okay, they did something bad in past, let's forget them. Hinduism, the core of Hinduism, if you hear something, is Vasudhaiva Kutumbakam, the whole world is a family. We have, as I said in the beginning, we don't have a single text, uh, religious text we don't have one God. You can have three totally different kind of lifestyle and beliefs, Shaiva, Shakti and uh, Vaishnava, in the same family. You'll have people who are vegetarians, there are people who are non-vegetarian, there are people who don't eat this or that. We even God, we, we, we believe in, there's one group who says, Eko ham dutyo nasti, I'm the only one and nothing else. Mm -hmm. There's no God, nothing. I am the one, I am the God. The other one says, Atma Paramatma. I am Atma, I'm part of that Paramatma. So this is, you call it religion loosely, but it's a, it's a way of life. Mm -hmm. And it gives you the where Vedas say that there is only one truth, but the scholars 
suggest you different path to reach to that truth. So we believe in that uh, diversity even after being one. What implications do you think that this conference will have on young Hindus? This conference has a, has a dangerous um, uh, possibility. People are not realizing. Sometimes they think, oh, just we did a conference. Mm -hmm. The way they are following the Hitler's model of three Ds. That was a very famous strategy. First is that you delegitimize them, then demonize them, and then apply double standards basically unleash violence on them. And in my uh, old days at Bell Canada, when I used to work, we used to say, find a dog, give dog a bad name, and kill the dog. So they are, per they are preparing because they cannot win in a democratic setup. So these are, this is a nexus of jihadis, mm -hmm. extremists, and communists. And they are all together Unfortunately, in developed societies, m many of them have tenured positions and they use and misuse the grants. Look at the website of these guys. These are these are uh, the serpents. They are very, very venomous serpents. And people like me who, who are in business have nothing to do with uh, politics, anything. But we realize this is the time when you don't raise your head. You think, oh, I'm on the board. I'm a CEO. I have nothing to do with this. This will come and hit everybody. And I want uh, uh, those uh, Hindus or any other faith people. Mm -hmm. Today, it is about dismantling Hindutva. Tomorrow, it's going to be dismantling Christianity. Day after, it's going to be dismantled Judaism. Who are you going to go after? They don't believe in faith. These are communists. These are Naxals. They are urban Nax Naxals. And police should deal with them. And I hope the academicians will wake up. Why did conference organizers choose to have this conference on the 9-11 anniversary? Well, that, that is something that how you have to understand this developed society, university professors at different universities, how they can be fooled. 9-11 terrorist attack, there you talk about Hindu hatred. They are shifting the narrative from jihad to Hindus. In your opinion, what are some of the challenges that the Hindu community is already facing? Hindus' problem historically has been this silence. We are a very soft people. Mm -hmm. We just say, oh, this is, they are bad people, forget them. If it was not so, look at the history. Thousand years, few thousand armies of Mughals can come and rule for 1,000 years. Britishers, 300 to 500 people come there. So always Hindus have supported these guys. So I do say that I, we, there is a problem is we need to introspect. And even today's government has to be more vigilant. There are Yahoo's in Hindus in India. What they say, the way they behave, the law of the land should punish them. We mm -hmm. should condemn them. But these serpents in the academic institutions, these poisonous uh, people, the liars of the highest order, they follow that triple D strategy of the Nazis, and they're trying to demonize Hindus, but they don't realize, they are on notice now. It's not about the politician Hindus, people like us, mm. who run companies, we serve on the boards. We, like, you see this pin of mine, look at this, this order of Canada, this is the mm -hmm. highest civilian honor yes. of this country. Congratulations. People like us served. talk about we desire better Canada. We desire better world. My foundation, we have done so much work with the Aboriginal people. I have done things with the uh, Islamic mosques. I have offices in Islamic countries. Nothing wrong with being following a faith, but no place for hate. Faith you can have, hate you can't. I agree. Completely agree with you. Do such conferences add additional fuel in spreading hatred against Hindus and the challenges they already face, in your opinion? We, we are in a public relations world. We are in a branding world. It does damage the brand, Hindu brand. This is not as simple as these professors or lecturers. There is a behind, there is a, there is a game plan. It's a, the money funded by ISI from Pakistan. They can't win 
uh, India on the war front. How do you do that? Now, you will either do say cyber attack or you do this kind of damage all over the world. Damage the brand. China, how can they damage? They move money. The money has been pumped. Look at the FBI's recent uh, indictments in that Harvard University. Some of these very distinguished professors, they are on the payrolls of Chinese government. Mm -hmm. I have no problem with any nationality. None of us should have. As a Hindu who believes in Vasudhaiva Kutumbakam, who believes that there is a, uh, there is a, a diversity should be there even in unity as a humanity, we have nothing wrong. But we should not tolerate these serpents. How do Hindus propose to defend their beliefs against this hate? I think uh, I have seen in Canada, suddenly we all have stand, stood up. We are taking it to the, uh, the university administrators. Maybe we should get into the boards. We should be in those selection committees. We should not just leave it for these um, uh, guys who hide behind the tenured position, do nothing, no teaching. I bet you we should even target some of them in a, not a negative way. They look at how what kind of harassments they have done to the students, the hmm. sexual harassments. We should highlight it. We should go after them. We should expose them. Hmm. Well, yes, and and to to further your point, Hindus are protesting outside of the University of Toronto to press the university to withdraw their name from the conference. What are your hopes? I, I am one of them. And my hope is that that good sense will prevail and they are sensible people. We have a meeting. We are also I have already approached uh, the chair of the governing council, the president, the provost, uh, the uh, vice president. Mm -hmm. And we are telling them, hey, support free speech. I am all for free speech and free flow of thoughts. But don't sponsor hate. It's not your business to sponsor hate. And what happens through your TV? We are putting University of Toronto on notice. If there is going to be violence against the Hindu students and faculty members mm -hmm. on the campus, we will follow the law of the land and we'll go after them. And you, what you're doing is you are legitimizing those hate mongers. Well, thank you for sharing your thoughts and perspectives uh, and your passion about this, um, about this pertinent subject. Are there any final thoughts or comments you would like to share, Dr. Jha? I think my thoughts are the Hindus are peace-loving people who believe that I, you practice what you believe in, others practice what they believe in, mm -hmm. that don't sit back, speak up. Don't think it has come and it will pass. No. They, these are the people. There is a design that on 9-11, they are hosting a conference demonizing Hindus. What about these jihadis who did what they did? Yes. And these university presidents, they, they are going to just sit back and they don't think anything. The deans, the academic guys. I'm very disappointed, I must tell you. I, I can understand that. And so just to your point earlier, you feel that some of these universities have been tricked, that they didn't understand what they were supporting? I think 90% of the universities have been tricked. Hmm. I have endowments at three universities through my foundation, two colleges. I deal with these people. I know that sometimes they don't pay attention to things. And there is a whole this motherhood statement of freedom of speech without recognizing that it is going to give rise to Trumpism in countries like anywhere in the world. Mm. If we do these things, where we spread hatred, there's going to be a danger to the civil society because of them. <laughs> Completely agree. Well, Dr. Jha, that gives us a lot to think about. Thank you so much for coming on and sharing your thoughts and for letting us know about this very pertinent subject matter. Um, we hope that it works out in all of our favor. We not only hope, we will make it work. If not today, 
tomorrow, if not tomorrow, we will keep fighting till end and try to put these hate mongers in their place in a very civilized, civil, non-violent way. But we will speak up. That is the best way. Thank you so thank, much. Thank you so much for this opportunity. Of Have course. a great day. You as well. Thank you. Bye -bye. And thank you to our viewers at home for tuning in. This is Ava Blackwell, and you're watching the International News Channel. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to stay up to date on all our latest news.